Welcome to Trial and Error, the series where I teach myself how to play VGC through, you guessed it, Trial and Error. We'll play a match on the ladder and then at the very end I'll go over all the plays and figure out what we could have done better for next time so hopefully we can all learn together. My name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and let's get started. Now, in this series, we use rental teams posted by other VGC players, and for today's episode, we're using this team from world champion and Pachirisu enthusiast, Seijin Park. I'll make sure to link his Twitter in the description, and if you're not following him, you really, really should, or at the very least, you should watch his Pachirisu match, because that is iconic. Now, if you want to use this team as well, the rental team is on the screen. Anyway, as we take a look at this team, I see some kind of Tailwind support with Whimsicott, uh, some interesting Togekiss set, because I think that Togekiss is usually more offensive, but here we've kind of got a support set with Follow Me and Yawn. I think that might be a little bit surprising for our opponents. Uh, I see some offensive threats with D Dracozolt, uh, Darmanitan, uh, Passimian and Duraldon look like they can put in work. They probably aren't the premier offensive threats, but they definitely look like they could help Definitely, Passimian is a strong threat with that Defiant, so it should be very exciting. All in all, I'm not 100% sure how this team is supposed to work, but that's kind of the point of this series. We're going to figure this out together. Hopefully, we can all learn. So, let's jump into our first match now. An opposing trainer has been found. We're going to be facing Aster of rank 5, who is bringing... <gasps> bringing the Obstagoon. He's a man after my own heart. Okay, Obstagoon... The scary Komo. -o. I remember Komo -o has something that boosts all its stats. I think it still does. So we're definitely bringing the Whimsicott. Um, let's see, Ribombi, Barbarical. So, so some interesting like setup Pokemon here. Haxorus and the uh, Drifloom. So looking at that team, definitely Whimsicott really likes this team. Likes to come to this one. Uh, I think also Togekiss. Yeah, I think Togekiss also likes to come, but I don't think I want to lead with Togekiss, actually. I'm going to put Togekiss in the back. So, going with Whimsicott, what shuts Whimsicott down here? I think it's going to be probably the Drifloom. So, if I want to be to have something for this Drifloom, I either go Darmanitan or I go Dracozolt. And I think I want to go Darmanitan because it also has the um, offensive support versus the Haxorus in case that thing comes. And for the last Pokemon, hmm, we're gonna have Tailwind up. So I kind of think Dracozolt, but Passimian could be pretty good here. Mm, I'm gonna go Passimian. I'm gonna go Passimian, just in case. I think that maybe the close combat would be nice versus the Barbarical, if that ends up being a thing. I know in singles, Barbarical has Shell Smash. Oh, that is a nice League card. <laughs> cool, Aster. Anyway, I know that in singles, Barbarical has Shell Smash, and if it tries to pull some Shell Smash shenanigans and I don't have Whimsicott to Energy Ball it, I think that it would be nice to then have the Passimian in the back. So Ribombi and Obstagoon are actually going to lead here. Now, looking at this, looking at this, I think I'm in a relatively good position. One thing I am going to do before we continue too far is I know you can look at the Pokemon in the team like so like we're doing right now but when you are switching your Pokemon you cannot so I'm gonna go ahead and just write down a couple of them in between them so first off I think that I kind of want to switch mm, no I'm gonna flare blitz the Rebombi slot and we're going to tailwind just because we want the speed first Rebombi might try some weird stuff with oh you're dynamaxing already okay what do you got for me so we had Como, we had Rebombi. Okay, yeah, Dynamax Obstagoon. Alright, so we're gonna get probably hit with the Max Darkness or probably the Max Fighting move. The Close Combat. Darmanitan won't like being hit by that, but I do have the Tailwind so I can at least get my Flare Blitz off first. Ultimately, I don't think switching out on this team would be very good. Oh, I forgot to mention in the intro. Oh, I'll have to redo the intro. I was going to say, at the in, at the, in the intro, I like to mention that I am going to be looking at any mistakes we make. So in case I made a mistake here, we'll go back and look at that at the very ends. Oh my god, we live it. Nice. Well done, Darmanitan. Well done. Good job. Okay. 
So we're locked into Flare Blitz right now. Um, I'm not sure what other Pokemon would come out. Barbarical? Okay. So, realistically, this Barbarical is too much of a threat for me to ignore. I know we've got the Dynamax Pokemon in front of me, but I do have Passimian in the back that can just take out the Obstagoon without really too much trouble. It's four times a week to fighting. Uh, as well as Togekiss. So I think the Barbarical is actually more of a threat to me here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Flare Blitz and Energy Ball. And I'll tell you why we're going to Flare Blitz. I'm going to do that because I think there's a small chance it could be Focus Sashed. And if it's Focus Sashed Shell Smash, which is more of a single set, I don't know if it's a thing in doubles, but if it is Focus Sash Shell Smash, that could be a huge problem for me going forward. So if I can just go ahead and Energy Ball it, bring it down to the 1 HP, if it does have the Focus Sash, and then go for the Flare Blitz, if not, uh, we'll see here. The Max Guard, that's fine, I'm not targeting the Obstagoon. We don't gotta worry about that right now. Alright. Flare Blitz, it's probably gonna take myself out, that's fine. I think that my opponent thinks that because it's the giant Dynamax Pokemon in my face that I'm more worried about that, but realistically, I know what Barbarical can do, and I'm just not here to mess with that at all. I'm not here for it. So I think this was a good turn for us. Barbarical goes down. All he did was guard with the Obstagoon. Uh, I think now is a great time to bring in Passimian. I think this would be a good target to Dynamax. I think a good Dynamax fighting move would be really helpful here. Um, let's see. Because that's four times effective, I actually think I'm going to then focus Whimsicott with the Moonblast on the Haxorus. Just to prevent any shenanigans happening, I do have Togekiss in the back, so I'm not too, too worried about that. But it is something that's important to note. I think instead of writing it down next time, so mistake number one, instead of writing down the Pokemon, I should just take a picture. I've got JJ, if you guys remember JJ, I'll show you guys real quick. It's my old beat up iPhone. It's duct taped together. So, but I found it. It was hiding under a bed. So now I can use that to take pictures of these teams. Okay, so we got our Dynamax Passimian out here. I think it should be able to Oko this. Not the Moon Blast, but you know, the close combat. Oh, oh Whimsicott. Thank you. Wow. Good job, Whimsicott. Alright, and let's Max Knuckle this. Is that going to be able to Oko? No, not quite. But we did a good amount of damage. And because we have Togekiss in the back, I feel very comfortable here. I feel very comfortable here. The Obstagoon is going to have Citrus Berry? Citrus Berry. Okay. So Max Strike, that's fine. Obstagoon does not have Guts up, it could be a Defiant Obstagoon, that's a thing that can happen, but we don't have Intimidate on the team, so I'm not worried about that. M and my Defiant activates, cool! We are in a great spot now, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, that is lovely, fantastic. Alright, so I think that we got this one in the bag. Let's see, I think this is a pretty successful first showing for this team, goodness. Yep, yeah, so Moonblast, oh, yeah, I accidentally hit the MD slot, but I think it still would target. Okay, battle canceled, cool. So we won our first match, awesome. So then I will be right back after reviewing the footage and we'll see what things we could have changed, what things we could have done better and see how we can learn from this battle. Okay guys, I'm back. I've reviewed the plays and there are two main ones I wanna highlight. The first one was on turn one when I had Darmanitan and I went for Flare Blitz instead of going for the Ice Skill Crash. Looking back on it, I definitely should have gone for the Ice Skill Crash. I went for the Flare Blitz because I thought, okay, I wanna take out this Rebombi. It's kind of a relatively big threat to me having the Passimian in the back. I wanna make sure that thing is just gone. Uh, instead of thinking about it like I should have, which was I brought Darmanitan in case Drifloon was there. If Drifloon had been in the back, I would then have been locked into something that was not super effective versus it instead of Ice Cold Crash, which also would have had Stab. And I think that because it's Darmanitan, Darmanitan is just super offensive. I think that still would have been able to actually Oko the Rebombi. And then what actually was in the back, the Barbarical would have had the same resistance to it. So it wouldn't have changed that play, but I would have been more prepared in case the Drifloon was actually there. And then the other play I kind of want to bring up, because I think that it maybe was a little bit iffy, 
was going for the Flare Blitz into the Barbarical just to make sure I could break Focus Sash. I looked at the team after the fact, we were able to see the info and I have it on the screen now. It's a Choice Band Barbarical. But I think that, thinking about it, I think it was the right play to make. I think that if it had been Focus Sash, if it had been Shell Smash, and it was able to outspeed the rest of my team, I think it really could have put a dent into it. Uh, I only had Passimian and I only had um, Togekiss in the back, so if it was faster than my Passimian, even though I had my Tailwind up, I'm not really sure how that would have worked, but if it was faster than my Passimian and had gone for like Waterfall and been able to Oko it, I would have been in kind of a sketchy situation because I'm versus the Dynamax Obstagoon versus the boosted Barbarical, and now I've just got Togekiss and Whimsicott, and I think that maybe wouldn't have worked out that well. The actual game itself I think worked out very well in our favor, but I think that those are the two plays I wanted to highlight so that we could kind of learn something that's kind of part of what the series is about. Now then, we've got a couple more videos planned with this team, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. The next episode of Trial and Error will be coming soon, but before we finish up here, I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Oris Giveaways or Ark. I'll make sure to link her Tumblr down in the description below. She was a huge help. She made this template. She made the thumbnail template as well. And it's just fantastic, as even the logo, like just so cool. She's a great graphic designer. I'll make sure her link is down there. But all that being said, my name is Waffles the Asian Yenber, and I hope you have a good day, good week, good life. Now, goodbye.